Hello, today it is uh, second day of April and I will give you a lecture on finite difference method. This is the course of CE 50502 which is for numerical methods of for partial differential equations and let's write first here the finite difference method here we use the method for solving the differential equation of course I will start from what is the uh, approach uh, coming from it is for the maybe we can consider so first let's consider an ordinary differential equation like y double prime plus uh, 2y is equal to some uh, function x where y is a function of x and x is defined between let me say 0 and 1 and this problem of course it's a boundary value problem so y0 is given initially maybe it is 0 maybe the other condition let's give y1 is given also 0 okay in this case how to solve such a problem here let me make a correction let's say this is y prime as you see there is a y double prime there is a y prime these are derivative terms how to convert them these terms into some uh, algebraic equations let's start from okay let's keep this uh, problem here at the beginning of the page I will continue with how to uh, explain uh, first derivative for example we have a function y and this is x okay so let's consider a curve like this for example how can I find the slope at that point it means what does it mean the slope slope means it is the derivative of the function at that point what is the slope of that slope which is what tangent of alpha what is alpha alpha is here okay so I mean by this what it means y prime what do I mean by y prime dy divided by dx y derivative with respect to x at that point at that specific point if you take two points like this for example if you take a point from here and if you take another point from here okay and what is this here you see there is a small triangle there this alpha angle is at the same time here alpha and you can approximate the derivative here by means of the value <coughs> values difference dividing this step okay how for example this is extending like this and it is keeping here and here what is the value here this value what are the values here for example here it is let's say this is the y1 value and what is this let's say this is the y minus 1 value okay and this is the midpoint let's say this is looking for we are looking for y0 but not y0 actually the derivative of the y derivative at that point let's say this is the point x0 this is the x minus 1 point let's say this is the x 1 point okay so in this case you can approximate the dy dx derivative by means of taking the difference of this value which value for example how can I say uh, I'm taking another triangle maybe using this time this color okay you see 
So there is a triangle like this. So you can take y1 minus y minus 1 value divided to this distance. What is this distance? x1 minus x minus 1. Okay? So by this way, you can find easily the derivative. And another one is the second derivative. How can I find the second derivative? So similarly, from this approach, you can find the second derivative dy squared dx squared as the at where when x is equal to x0 of course this was also when x is equal to x0 okay so you can take the second derivative by means of the dy dx at this point okay and you can find the derivative at that point and then taking the derivative again one more time you will get what you will get the second derivative here it is let's say from x minus 1 to minus x1 to minus 1 is 2 delta x and this is y1 minus y minus 1 here dy minus 1 dy dx derivative when x is equal to 1 over 2 minus dy dx again when x is equal to minus 1 over 2 divided to the distance between this point and this point is gives you what delta x in this case because before it was 2 delta x now it is half of it delta x and these derivatives if you write these derivatives here let's write them for example for this one what y1 minus y1 over 2 is it no y0 divided to delta x because for this distance it is derivative with delta x and the other one is minus uh, y0 minus y minus 1 divided to delta x uh, dividing it to what delta x so this gives us or this is actually an approximation at the end making this calculation will give you y1 minus 2y0 plus y minus 1 divided to delta x squared. You can find by this way the third derivative also, but I will not explain it yet. <coughs> Only first derivative and second derivative is good enough for us. Well, we will use the formulations like this, this one and this one, okay? So keep this in mind. This one, okay, I'm taking them in circles like this. So let's apply this rule to the uh, to our problem uh, maybe we can start like this okay uh, here y double prime so first of all where is your problem is on let's see the problem is on this curve where this is x is 1 uh, this is x is 0 and take some points like this okay this point this point and this point and each point is uh, equally distance as a uh, distance you see this is the one so this is distance 1 over 4 1 over 4 1 over 4 1 over 4 and by this way we will find the y values at these points okay then uh, we will solve the problem let's say the value here is y0 this is the point let's say this is y1 this is uh, y2 the point here this is y3 and this is y4 we know y4 you know I have given already it as 0 okay y0 is also 0 it is given here you see so we will find these numbers okay so I will write three equations for them let's write the equations for every unknown points for example for y1 what happens let's write y double prime so for y1 point let's write the second derivative so y2 ma minus 2y1 plus y0 divided to uh, delta x square and the other one plus two times this time y prime y prime is <coughs> y2 minus y0 y0 divided to 2 delta x in this case is equal to what it must be equal to x1 okay this is one of the equation 
the other equation is for y2 which is for y2 let's write y3 minus 2y2 plus y1 divided to delta x squared plus 2 times so for y2 you will take y3 point and y1 point for the first derivative okay so this is equal to x2 for y3 let's write also for y3 okay what is this this is y4 y4 minus 2y3 as you see initially it's starting with 2 3 now it's 4 as you see it's again 1 2 3 and it will be 0 1 2 here okay just follow and it will be delta x square plus 2 times what y4 minus y2 divided to 2 delta x which is equal to x3 let's write these equations by inserting the numbers which numbers we can insert for example you can insert the number here what number what is x1 x1 is equal to as you see 1 over 4 what is x2 you see x2 is equal to 1 over 2 in this case because it is half of the term then what is x3 this will be 3 divided by 4 because it is here as you see 1 4 1 and then the summation of them will give you 3 divided by 4 and what is y0 it is 0 already we know what is y0 it is 0 what is y4 it is 0 here it is 0 also okay so rewriting and what is delta x insert delta x as uh, 1 over 4 you will get some equations now I will write the equations here easily you will see y2 minus 2y1 divided by 1 over 16 because 1 over 4 square is 1 over 16 plus 2 times y2 divided to 2 times 1 over 4 which is 1 over 2 is equal to 1 over 4 this is one of the equation or rewriting this equation will give you what uh, maybe we can multiply everywhere with the uh, which number may be giving uh, 16 here 16y2 minus 32y1 plus 4y2 is equal to 1 over 4 or minus 32y1 plus 20y2 is equal to 1 over 4 yes this is one of our equation okay this is equation one now I will continue from this point, uh, pass to the equation 2 and you will see how. Let's continue with the equation 2 here on this part. Now I'm writing, maybe it's better sharing both uh, papers but it's very uh, it's impossible to do this because they're not, uh, it's impossible, okay. Let's pass for the second equation, okay, in the second equation, y3 minus 2y2 plus y1 is divided to 1 over 16 again, plus 2 times, what is this, y3 minus y1 divided to 1 over 2, because 2 times 1 over 4 is 1 over 2, is equal to 1 over 2, or rewriting this same equation again, 16y3 minus 32y2 plus 16y1 plus 4y3 minus 4y1 is equal to 1 over 2 or rewriting taking y1 initially which gives you 12y1 the other one 32y2 the other one 20y3 is equal to 1 over 2 yes this is our second equation okay this is the second equation let's write also the third equation and uh, I will write the equations in terms of uh, a metric system okay finally let's write the third equation now in third equation minus uh, 2y3 uh, plus y2 divided 2 I'm taking everything from the first paper okay you can follow the papers from the drive I am uh, uploading everything every document into the drive then this will be again 1 over 16 plus uh, 2 times what is this minus y2 divided to 1 over 2 
is equal to x3 3 divided by 4 and this will be minus 32 y3 uh, and plus 16 y2 uh, minus 4y2 is equal to 3 divided by 4 and let's write these equations 12y2 minus 32y3 is equal to 3 divided by 4 is our third equation so let's write them in terms of the matrix system so there will be an unknown mat uh, vector which is y1 y2 y3 vector what is the coefficient matrix for them? So passing to the first page again, as you see, there is the minus 32 and 20 for y1 and y2. So I'm writing minus 32 here and the 20 here. And this is zero. For I'm passing now. Before passing, let's write the other side of the equation. As you see on the other side, I see there the 1 over 4. So let's write here 1 over 4 also. Let's pass to the second and third equation now. In the second equation, there is 12 here. Let's write 12. There is minus 32 here, minus 32, and there is last one 20. And for the other side is 1 over 2. And the third equation is, there is no y1 here, so it is 0. So uh, there is, uh, what is y2? It's 12. And there is for y3, minus 32, again, as you see and it is 3 divided by 4. Now the next step is solving this problem, this set of equations, uh, maybe by calling this as the A matrix. Okay, so what does it mean? Y vector will be equal to A matrix inverse of it times this uh, vector. Okay, this vector will be introduced here. Or how can I solve uh, these three equations by using the methods where what you learned from the high school or you can use uh, goals elimination or you can use MATLAB or you can use your hand calculators Okay in the hand calculators. It's very easy to use. Maybe you have never seen before, but there is a, a Matrix part here. So as you see in the matrix part you can insert a matrix and you can take the inverse of it easily by using this shift function Okay. Uh, in the next video I will uh, show you some other problem and then uh, you will see uh, the details more maybe in the next time uh, we can uh, I can show you the uh, how can I eliminate these Neumann boundary conditions for example here the boundary conditions are uh, how if they were born Drishle both of them were Dirichlet boundary condition, but what happens in the case of the Neumann boundary condition, that is a question now. For example, in this case, you can take, for example, dy divided by dx is given at the boundary where x is equal to 1, and it is given as some number, maybe 1, for example. So you have to take some virtual point from the out of the points. For example, this was the x0 point this was what x4 point was it x4 yes x4 which is 1 this is 0 so to find this derivative what you will use the virtual point here okay virtual point and then by using this per virtual point is x5 where this is a delta x again so this is x3 point so you can use or approximate this for example, what is y5 then? You don't know. So, <coughs> you'll use here, not y5 actually, you'll use directly, uh, maybe using uh, directly, not this point, but using this backward uh, derivative, using these two point maybe, okay? So, approximately it is y4 minus y3 divided to delta x, okay? You can use this easily and by this way you can find here by, from this what happens you will write the equations for x1 point for x2 point and x3 point equations like this 
for so for x1 for x2 for x3 and you will write one additional equation for x4 what this boundary condition equation boundary condition equation which is this which is equal to 1 and you see or what is this let's write y4 minus y3 is equal to delta x is your fourth equation and the all other remaining will come from the equation what is the equation y double prime plus 2y prime is equal to x you will use this for them and this is for this okay this was the end of our lecture uh, for this week next week i will continue maybe from this point okay i will decide it thank you very much for your listening